The hoopoe is a migratory bird that winters in Africa and in the spring returns to nest in European breeding grounds. When the hoopoes arrive in Provence in early April, they need to rest and feed to strengthen up. Hoopoes are solitary foragers with its long, slightly curved bill, five to six centimetres, the hoopoe is adapted to feeding on the ground, both by picking insects off the surface and by probing beneath it. Its longevity is around four years. In Provence, hoopoes frequent a wide range of habitats such as abandoned fields, olive groves, as well as wild gardens in the vicinity of small villages. When the breeding season starts, the male utters its insistent song in the early morning from a high perch. Males principally sing to attract females. The typical far-carrying song, only produced by males, is a resonant phase which gives rise to its English name, hoopoo. This song may extend over many minutes while the male bows the head downwards to increase the volume of air, the neck is inflated and then the throat pushes outwards with each note. A female listens to a male singing. Male songs have different refrain lengths that may vary from two to five notes with short pauses between them. A little further, a male sings a four note refrain. Females select males that use long refrains in their songs because the male's refrain length is correlated with the measurement of his condition and does not depend on its age. The hoopoes meet on the shortcut lawn and forage for insects. The male feeds the female before mating. Hoopoos are monogamous, but pair bonds usually last only for one season.
After a successful courtship display, the male goes in search for a nesting site, usually in a natural cavity, such as a tree hole or stone ruin that will involve the establishment of the territory. This male has chosen a fissure in a large branch of an old chestnut tree situated next to a small stream. The female cleans itself on the branch. Both sexes can raise a spectacular fan, the characteristic crown of feathers. During the pre-laying egg phase, males sing from different perches, close to the nest hole. Their songs provide information for the female and other males. This male sings with short refrains of two notes and therefore is a different individual than the one that sang with three or four notes heard previously. Probably it is an unpaired male and the paired one has stopped singing. When the female begins egg laying, she normally starts incubation between the first and third egg and will remain in the nest. From then on, the male stops singing and regularly goes in search for food to feed the female. Hoopoos frequently clean their bill on a branch after feeding in the nest. The chicks are brooded by the female for between 9 to 14 days. Sometimes she leaves the eggs for a short period and waits on the branch for a meal and once fed, returns to the nest to brood. The small stream below the walnut tree is a perfect habitat for all kinds of animals, like this blue metallic damselfly. This comma butterfly quenches its thirst and feeds on the mineral salts. And a copper demoiselle, which is also a European damselfly, shares the same habitat. Some wild boar thrive in this environment. When excited, hoopoos can utter a harsh, rasping call. A female red-backed shrike is catching a wasp under the chestnut tree. From time to time, the female leaves the nest to clean itself of all vermin from the nest.
a nightingale sings its song early in the morning. It has now been 17 days since the female started egg laying. She moves to her favourite spot and grooms herself. This time, when the male arrives with food, the female keeps it in her bill and returns to the nest, which indicates that a chick has hatched. The chicks hatch at different times. The first days, the female will stay with the chicks and feed them with food brought by the male. Early in the morning, a male hoopoo sings from a perch in the walnut tree with food in its bill. It flies closer to the nest, stops singing and waits for a while with a big larva in its bill. This is probably an unpaired male hoping to get the attention of the nesting female. Because all hoopoos have different markings on their plumage, it's possible to recognize individual birds. Occasionally, a male other than the nest owner may help with feeding the nesting female and chicks or defend the nest. Most of these relationships are apparently attempts by visitor males to couple with the paired females or to obtain access to such females or nests in future breeding attempts. The female remains on the nest and so the visitor decides to go to the nest but leaves in a hurry as soon as the resident male arrives. When the resident male flies away, the unpaired male returns for a second chance. After some time, the unpaired male moves to the nest, but is now chased away by the resident male who comes back with food. In the next episode, the female joins the male in the task of feeding the chicks and will clean the nest.